Hello, SOG fans, and Mudahar said he was going to do a show you how to connect your controller to other games, but I thought, you know, what? That's pretty easy. I know how to do this. I can show you all how. Now, it depends what kind of gamepad you have. If you don't know what a gamepad is, it's basically a controller for your computer, so, you know, search on the internet accordingly. And if you want to use them for most of your games, there's a simple way of doing it. So, let's get the controller and plug it in. Whatever. I got a Logitech F130 right here, but I would recommend the Xbox controller because it's a lot more comfortable. And I believe it comes with software on it, and it smooths out the mouse control so it feels like you're using a real joystick rather than moving a mouse with the joystick. Either that or I haven't used a gamepad in a while. Anyways. Okay, you heard that noise. Gamepad's plugged in. Let's go check it to make sure it's in there. Check the computer, and it'll show you know something with a removable device. Don't worry about that. Now let's just go to Control Panel and Hardware and Sound, and we'll check all of the devices. So go to Devices and Printers. There'll be a lot of things here, but what we're looking for is whatever your gamepad is. Obviously, it's going to look like a controller, or if you have a PS3 controller plugged in, which you can do, by the way it will look like a little unknown device sort of like this so just check to make sure it works uh... check the properties make sure everything's working uh... everything seems to be working fine just uh... game controller settings by right clicking it go to advanced and properties to make sure you know it's plugged in if you got an official gamepad it will look a lot like this and you know if I move my right joystick, it'll do all these motions, so I'm moving it in circles, up and down, left and right, same with the left, same story, and use your D-pad, it'll be the switch, so if you have left and up at the same time, it'll do that. Very smooth, and it'll show you what button you're pressing, if you got a good one, button 9, it doesn't show the mode button, 12 and 11 should be your L3 and R3, and just button 6, button 5. Button 8 and button 7. Everything seems to be working fine. Alright. If you really need to start smoothing out things, you can either enable the swap mode or any of this. But by the way, I might want to mention, if you have a PS3 controller, I'll skip ahead to show you how you can plug it in. Because normally it wouldn't have all of this at once and you need to get some third-party software. Swap D-pad and left mini joystick, don't worry about that. Look, it shows how far the joystick position is going if you hover over it. And about, you know, about all your stuff. Get the Logitech Profiler if you have a Logitech one, or if it comes with software, you should be fine. If it's an Xbox controller, it doesn't really need it at all. You just plug it in and use it for any game. Most games actually recognize that gamepad. Now, if you have, if you're unfortunate to have a Xbox, no PS3 controller only, but you have the cord and you want to plug it in, you can do that too. Now, what you need to do is get a program called Motion Enjoy. If you don't know what that is, just Google it on the internet, get the latest version, download it, and then restart your computer, and just you know do all these installation instructions and just load it up. Why we need this program is to make it so that way the computer will recognize that you're using a controller instead of just some random thing plugged into the computer. Because normally it does not recognize, you know, this controller. And I think it has something to do with Sony not allowing, I guess, multi-use, but that would be pretty fucking awesome. Okay. Normally, now, of course, you know, it doesn't show mines there, but that's because I have an official Logitech, Logitech uh, gamepad. So, what you need to do is uh, select your option, like, wait for controllers to be connected. Uh, normally, it should show your controller. If not, then you just go to Device Manager, and then install Load Driver, and then install All. I'm not going to do that, because that will ruin my gamepad. It won't recognize at all anymore. Now, I created this thing, PS3 controller, with no tilt. Because what happens is if you tilt the controller, it will show that, you know, it will be an issue, actually. Because you try to set in game commands, but the tilting will actually be in there. 
and it makes it really, really tough to do things like that. So, what you should pick is Xbox 360 controller emulator or PS2. Now, with PS2, you won't be able to use your middle button that comes with your controller. But hey, that's something to easily sacrifice. But if you're on Steam, use PlayStation 3. And I'll put the link to PS3 controller with no tilt in the description. So you can easily just start loading these up. Now, how are we going to get this into a, a game? Well, depending on what kind of profile you have, normally it should... You can't get it to work with any game unless if you got third-party software, like Logitech Gaming Software. They have this on their official website, so all you got to do is find your gamepad. And I think it will be able to recognize PS3 controllers as long as you got motion and joy. And let's pick a game that recognizes gamepad. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I want to be the guy. show you now what if you want to use it for other games like minecraft now minecraft i would honestly not recommend you do it with because it really isn't gamepad compatible it's really hard to control in fact so there's another software you can get but you have to pay for it it's called x powder and we're just gonna load a profile i made a while ago uh, x powder controllers logitech m130 profiles minecraft and we'll open up the lay layout, Logitech F130, and it recognizes all my movements, up, down, left, right, middle button. I feel like though, you know, the up, up button and the left button are kind of stuck, so they'll do that weird movement thing. So if I want to middle click the mouse button, I can just, you know, do that, left, right click, everything works like it should. And x I would honestly recommend because it's easy to pick up and learn. But it isn't something I would want all the time. So, you know, just for the sake of purposes and all that crap, we're going to start Minecraft. Yeah, I know, I don't really like to do this either. We're going to pick single player. And we're going to pick my, uh... Oh, uh, what the hell? Which one are we going to pick? I, I really don't like using this because it's not delicate with a mouse. you got to slow down your mouse speed if you want this to work right. I will just open up Knox. I haven't even finished this map at all. And look, it works like it should. You know, forward, back, yes. And if I want to smooth the mouse control, which is a stupid idea, uh, just press the middle button. And if I want the block, I press the middle button. That's why I just recommend using a game pad. This is what happens. It's just too, too clunky. And I think there is a way you can smooth it out, but it is just really, really clunky. So, I think there's a way you can do that. We're going to go into our settings. And tinker with you see the little wrench down here? We're going to tinker with the mouse controls. Now, what I like is that this thing has advanced mouse controls. So if you want it to go up smoother or down smoother, it will do that. Let's see, look, it's just instantaneous. So we're going to pick four-way standard, up, down, left, right. You know, simple enough. Four-way, diagonal, which I wouldn't recommend either. Up, down, left, right, circles. Or we're going to pick Prioritize Horizontal. Prioritize Horizontal I would honestly recommend for you. 
because it makes it so much nicer. It just makes it really easy. I don't know. I guess that's what's wrong with it. The dead zone on the controller just... It makes it really hard to actually look up and down. That's the issue. So we're gonna go back and tinker with the settings again. And prioritize vertical if you want, you know, to prioritize the vertical movements. So it moves up and down most of the time, and it moves left and right hardly. But if you have it diagonal up, it's just gonna do that. If you have it diagonal down, it's gonna just do that. It has to be straight up and straight down. No middles, no nothing. It's a little hard, and you know, you gotta find what works for you. I find that standard works a lot better, and you know, changing the diagonal size diagonal size to the max like that because then it's just it's not too smooth you know it's really clunky and it's just it's terrible actually so find what works for you uh more responsive more responsive is always good and that's that that's actually a working one right here I think I'm going to swap these out. That WSD. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn off my move button, silly. And this is actually a really comfortable working one. Works fine. No problems at all. And if I want to crouch, just press R, which. I didn't quite set my uh, F5 key, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot my uh, shift key changed, but I can press tab, you know, to do all that crap. Escape to pause, space to jump, which is my A button. Yeah, that's just about it. That's all you really need to know about uh, setting up your gamepad for most games that don't use it, and for games that do use it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that clears up anything. I'm sorry it took some time. Next time I'll be straight to the point. But I had to talk about as much as I could in one setting, and I guess I kind of went overboard. So, yeah, if you can uh, torrent XPatter, by all means do it. I know it doesn't support the developer at all, but, you know, we're all free bastard here. Get Motion Enjoy if you have a PS3 controller or Logitech gaming software. It's on their website. You can find it pretty easily as long as you can find your gamepad. It comes with a separate one for each one. <clears throat> Honestly, if you have a Logitech one, that's great because they're, they're really good. It's the next best thing you can get to an Xbox controller. Because they have the software that makes it so you can set keys of the keyboard really simply to what they're meant to do. And the, the mouse controls, albeit, aren't very smooth, but I think you can change those out. But everything is just well done. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.